It's the social media sensation of lockdown, targeted at teens. I spend a lot of time doing the dances. I just say I'm addicted to TikTok. It says its mission is to inspire creativity and bring joy. And though it clearly can, could TikTok also be putting some users at risk? If you're looking at a lot of kids dancing sexually and you interact with that, it's going to give you more kids dancing sexually. Predators, unfortunately, know where the children are hanging out. They know that that's where they can interact with them. Tonight on Panorama, we investigate how the app can expose children to harm. Some of the stuff I've seen on there makes your hair go white. It's a completely inappropriate environment for children. And ask, how safe is TikTok? He is saying he wants to show you a body part. He thinks you're 14, he's 34, that's not OK. This is a new generation of celebrities. Known as Bite Squad, they moved into this house at the start of lockdown. It's run by their management company. They spend their days making videos like this one, dancing to the latest viral music trends, and then they post them to TikTok. You need to put hashtags in, and then you just post it. They get more than 70 million views a week, though if you're over 25, you may not have heard of them, because many of their viewers are still at school. We normally post from like 4 until 10, because like on a school day, they come home at like 4 ish, they're on their phones, so we just catch them then to get better engagement. Today, we had 2.3 million views in total. The more views they get, the more money they can make through product promotion deals. Just how quickly has TikTok changed your lives? One video can really just set you off and like suddenly make you this known person. You can just blow up randomly out of nowhere. That's what happened to me anyway. So unpredictable. Yeah. Like sometimes you can put like the bare minimum in, have a bit of a laugh, and it goes viral more than any of your other videos you've ever done. Fight Squad are influencers. Their fans don't just watch their videos, they copy them. A lot of what they post is upbeat, feel-good content. I'm bored again, so I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'm bored again, and I'm probably going to be dyeing my hair. I got bored again, and I dyed my hair. A blend of pranks, dances, and body positivity videos. TikTok makes it easy for anyone to upload their own videos, from the elderly residents of a care home in Yorkshire to A-list celebrities. On TikTok, dance crazes can spread around the world, sometimes in hours. The app now has over 700 million users, including one in four Brits. Hey, TikTok. It's become the fastest growing social media platform of all time. And has brought huge success to TikTok's Chinese owner. ByteDance, headquartered in Beijing, is thought to have made more than £2 billion in profit last year. And its 37-year-old founder, Chang Ai Ming, is reportedly now the 10th richest man in China. Earlier this year, TikTok targeted the UK with its first ever TV ad, selling itself as a place where dreams come true. Sixteen-year-old Tash Werblo is one of the many teens who've bought into that dream. She films herself copying dance trends to songs like this. I'd say I'm addicted to TikTok. I spend between two to four hours a day. During the pandemic, however, I spent between seven to eight hours, which is a lot. Do you think you're on it too much? Yes, definitely. How does it draw you in? You just keep on scrolling, like you just you just lose track of time whilst you're on there. You could be on there just scrolling and scrolling. And I spend a lot of time like doing the dances. How does your mum feel about you being on TikTok? She doesn't really know much about it, I guess. Um, she just knows it's really just like a form of social media. And I think she's fine with it. Like some of the most popular TikTok trends. Yeah, I'm gonna, you've been served, I like with a little bit of curve. 
This dance is based on a sexually explicit song. This version that went viral had the explicit language removed, but the song it's based on describes sexual acts in graphic detail. And the dance moves make the meaning clear. I wonder what Tash's mum Sue thought about the song her daughter was performing. Sue, can I ask you to take a look at these lyrics and read them out? Oh, God. <laughs> Does she even want to say it? Not really. Oh, gosh, this sounds awful. Dance on the d now you've been served. I like a d with a little bit of curve. Hit this d with an upper cut. Call that d Captain Hook. No. <laughs> Tasha, are you familiar with those lyrics? It was a popular song at one point on TikTok. Did you copy it? I think I did, but I obviously didn't say any of the words. I just did the dance. So you didn't mouth the words? No, of course not. Many parents think it's harmless fun. What's your impression now? Sorry, you can't go on TikTok anymore. <laughs> Well, my impression before was that TikTok was a fun thing, but now I think it's not what I thought it was. TikTok says it has a family pairing feature that allows parents who have accounts of their own to link them to their child, a restricted mode to limit the appearance of inappropriate content and a function to manage screen time. But Sue's reluctant to monitor everything her daughter does online. As they get older, it's very difficult to hold them back, because if you hold them back, then they'll probably do it behind your back. I trust Tash, and I'm hoping that she is mature enough that if anything bad that she didn't like, she wouldn't get involved in it. TikTok says you have to be 13 or over to use the app. It asks for your birthday when you sign up, but not for proof of age. That's standard across social media platforms. But in the UK, a study shows almost half of 8 to 12-year-olds use the app. And although TikTok says you can set your account to private, it didn't take me long to find hundreds of videos of extremely young children dancing and lip-syncing to explicit songs like these. Can't take big when I suck on it. Hang on the get a bump on it. Bad the on me. On me. Whip out my and I hump on it. I'm a badass you looking at I'm gonna throw that back like a Cadillac I don't care how you thought I'm a head on that I'm gonna break this this middle that TikTok says it doesn't tolerate sexually suggestive content involving a minor and removes it from the app but how are children finding the videos they copy in the first place well it seems they don't have to look very far what makes TikTok different to most other social media platforms is the way it suggests what to watch when you open the app, you're greeted by this. It's called the For You page. Every time you swipe, you're shown a new post. But these aren't just from people you know and follow. When you register, TikTok asks you what you're interested in, then starts monitoring your activity on the app to work out what videos to show you. It even spots how long you linger on a clip and sends you more of the same. The system is driven by an algorithm that uses powerful artificial intelligence, or AI. I want to get to grips with how it works, so I've set up a TikTok account as a young user. All I have to do is give my name, age and an email or phone number. I'm pretending I'm 13 years old. This account's been set up on a new phone. I haven't given the algorithm anything at all, so I haven't searched for anything, haven't liked anything, haven't followed anyone. After 10 minutes of swiping, I came across the first disturbing clip, a pig falling off a truck. I allowed the video to play through several times, then carried on swiping. Shortly afterwards, the app showed me this clip of a confrontation in the street. Again, I lingered on the video, but didn't press like. Before long, I was being fed a stream of videos of people screaming profanities. A violent assault, a husband threatening to attack his wife, and a young man lying bloodied in the street. I've spent 20 minutes swiping and the algorithm's feeding me violent, angry, increasingly upsetting content. And TikTok thinks I'm 13. TikTok says its self-declaration of age during the sign-up process is in line with the industry standard. And if it determines that someone under 13 is using the platform, it terminates their account. 
It says the suggestion that TikTok deliberately serves harmful content to users via its algorithm is patently false and that maintaining their safety and well-being is a top priority. Guillaume Shallow helped design a recommendation system for YouTube and is an artificial intelligence expert. The algorithm that drives TikTok look at the watch uh, history of every single uh, kid and then learns what video is the most likely to get you uh, hooked. The AI uh, is very powerful um, at deciding uh, what to show next. And how does TikTok's algorithm differ to, to other social media platforms? One particular difference is that the videos are much shorter. So the AI has a lot more data to learn. So the artificial intelligence of TikTok is uh, more powerful in a way than other platforms because it can learn faster about you. What's wrong with having an algorithm giving you personalised content? The AI can push some harmful content. You look at one video, and then it recommends a similar video, and then the algorithm recommends again and again this type of content. Sometimes parents think it's the fault of the kid or it's their fault because they were bad parents, but really they're competing against a super powerful artificial intelligence and they're losing. TikTok says it's set out publicly how its algorithm operates and allows outside experts to review it. It says it has a number of features which allow users to indicate when they're not interested in content or want to block certain content creators. It says it deliberately pushes videos that users might not be interested in to bring a diverse range of content to the For You pages. Once TikTok's algorithm puts a video on the For You page, it can result in it reaching a huge audience. And that can mean a rapid rise to fame for its young stars like 17-year-old Maya Carter. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how I put on my lashes. Let's go. And then I cover it so I do a transition. Okay, so what you're going to do is grab your best lashes, grab your best glue and apply it to the lash. So a 60 second video could take you how long? About two, three hours to make. Press post. Maya became famous on TikTok during lockdown last spring by posting a mixture of makeup tutorials and body positivity videos. I have struggled with my weight all my life. I gain and I lose. I gain and I lose. She's received more than 8 million likes, but it's come at a cost. There was, oh, you're fat, your nose is huge. Oh, why does your belly look like that? I'll show you. Um, it's disgusting, to be honest. In numerous comments, Maya's targeted with abuse. What kind of impact has it had on you and your mental health? I went for a very dark phase. I, I, when I received them comments at first, I was very, very depressed. TikTok says it takes safety incredibly seriously and is sorry this user has had a negative experience. TikTok has published its own community guidelines setting out what is and isn't allowed. It says it doesn't tolerate bullying, encourages users to report harassment and promises it will ban anyone for severe or repeated violations. I spoke to a former content moderator who worked at TikTok's London office last year. He was part of a team tasked with making sure users followed the guidelines. He says when he was working there, employees at TikTok's Chinese headquarters made all the key decisions. He's asked us to hide his identity. Did you see online bullying? Quite a bit, yeah. It felt like not very much was being done to protect people. Beijing were hesitant to suspend accounts or take stronger action on users who were being abusive. They would pretty much only ever get a temporary ban of some form, like a week or something. Moderators, at least on the team I was on, did not have the ability to ban accounts. They have to ask Beijing to do that. There were a lot of sort of clashes with Beijing. What would those clashes be over? Usually policy concerns or things that should have been taken more seriously than they were. Why do you think that was the case? They don't want to drive users away, even if that user is doing bad things. I think they would rather have the growth than taking out someone who is causing other community members distress. In March, TikTok announced it would be transitioning away from using moderation staff based in Beijing and that no content is moderated in China. 
It's told Panorama it invests heavily in automated moderation. It has an ever-growing expert team of more than 10,000 moderators in 20 countries who review and take action against content and accounts that violate its policies and that a team in Dublin now drives its safety strategy, decision-making and enforcement. Amber Driscoll has made a career on social media. She mostly uses Instagram, where she promotes body confidence to her 300,000 followers. When she joined TikTok, she too became concerned that harmful material wasn't being taken down. When did you first start using TikTok? I actually downloaded it in March when lockdown happened, as I think lots of people did. And I was shocked, honestly, like there was this huge obsession with weight loss. For years, Amber says she struggled with an eating disorder that was made worse by reading about weight loss and comparing herself to other women on social media. So she was alarmed to find her TikTok For You page filling up with videos objectifying young women, recommending crash diets and promoting weight loss pills. It's just what the algorithm thinks you like. It's obviously very clever. They want you to spend more time on the app, so then they just give you the videos that you clearly are enjoying or spending more time engaging with. You're not necessarily looking for it, but it's still going to somehow find you almost. And you have all these teenagers posting these videos and then other teenagers seeing these and then either feeling shame for how much food they're eating or feeling that's what I should be doing, like, or I can eat less than them kind of thing. Amber was so concerned, she made a TikTok video of her own criticising the app. It got the moderator's attention, but not in the way she'd hoped. I basically said, this app is promoting toxic behaviours and it needs to stop. So I posted that and it blew up and got over a million views and then it got deleted for violating community guidelines. TikTok deleted it mm -hmm. for violating community guidelines? Yeah, even though obviously there are so many much like actually harmful TikToks that are encouraging harmful behaviours that don't get deleted. Why do you think it got deleted? Uh, well, because I said this app is promoting eating disorders. TikTok says any content or account that seeks to promote or glorify eating disorders is a violation of the guidelines and will be removed. It says criticism is not a violation and would not be grounds for removal. If a user feels their content has been removed incorrectly, it says it encourages them to appeal. TikTok says it has built-in protections that make it impossible to search for keywords that would lead to harmful content. So if, for example, a user typed in the word suicide, they're directed to the Samaritan support line for help. But TikTok search bar also has an auto-suggest function which offers up popular terms as you type. Panorama discovered that if a user starts typing certain banned keywords, the app itself can suggest alternative spellings. These might then lead to videos showing harmful content, circumventing TikTok's own ban. TikTok says since receiving Panorama's findings, it's carried out an update of its search terms and will be adding hundreds of new ones that will no longer return search results. It says it will continue to aggressively update its list over the next few weeks. The former moderator says when he was working there, the algorithm driving TikTok could put its young users in harm's way. The algorithm will feed you what you interact with. So if you're looking at adults dancing, you're going to get more adults dancing. If you're looking at a lot of kids dancing sexually and you interact with that, it's going to give you more kids dancing sexually. Most users are not going to be interacting with bad content because that's not what they're into. Some users interact with that stuff because it is their interest. Maybe it's a predator. They see these kids doing that and that's their way of, you know, engaging with the kids. Panorama set up another fictitious account, this time in the guise of a 36-year-old man. We used a computer-generated photo. Whenever presented with an image of a young girl in school uniform, the man watched it to the end and pressed like. Within half an hour, his For You page was filled with images of school-age teens. Here's a video showing a young girl in class, on the floor, in her school uniform. It's attracted hundreds of comments, mainly from much older men. One's asking her to do a handstand, others are asking to see up her skirt, and there's also a reference to a sexual position. 
we found hundreds of comments like these across TikTok. After Panorama shared its findings with TikTok, it said this behaviour is unacceptable. Five accounts have been permanently banned and the devices used have also been banned from creating new accounts. It says it will not catch every instance of inappropriate content and account behaviour, but it's constantly strengthening processes to keep users safe. If adults are writing comments like these in public, what are they saying to young people in private? The former moderator says when he worked at TikTok, his team reviewed between 60 and 100 direct messages a day reported by users. Some looked like attempts to groom young people. It would usually be an adult contacting a teenager. Sometimes it would just be just slightly creepy questions, but the intent is obvious. Sometimes it would be slightly more subtle, like someone acting like a kid. That was less common, though. If you're seeing messages in your day, private messages that were clearly online grooming, then there must be so many more that aren't reported. Yeah. Since April, only accounts registered to users age 16 or over can send or receive direct messages. But what if children lie about their age? We decided to test the app. This is our newest team member, a journalism graduate who creates TikToks for an internet search company. She's 23, but is posing as a 14-year-old. To make her look the part, we ran her pictures through photo editing software. Every day, she posted videos copying popular dances to tracks like this. I would just try post as regularly as possible, like a 14-year-old would. Really harmless, innocent videos. For three weeks, she took part in all the trends popular with TikTok's youngest users. I didn't do any of the explicit dancing or anything. I used hashtags like hashtag school life, hashtag school uniform. Talk me through the response you got. After about a week or so, I got followed by a profile picture just of a naked torso. That was the first strange thing. Then the videos were picking up more views and more people were following the account. Many appeared to be older men. And there's another one here. A man approached me saying he was 21 and I said, I'm 14. And he kept continuing the conversation with me. He also continued to like loads of the videos and stuff like that. What was his profile like? A lot of the accounts he followed were mostly young girls. I saw that there was one as young as seven there. And it's just strange to think that this is what they're using TikTok for. The messages soon became much more disturbing. One morning I woke up to a message on the account. OK, that is completely inappropriate. The guy's 34. He is saying he wants to show you a body part. He thinks you're 14, he's 34. That's not OK. No. That's sickening. Yeah. TikTok's community guidelines say it's deeply committed to child safety, has zero tolerance for predatory behaviour and bans users from engaging minors in sexually explicit conversation. So would TikTok take action against this account? Our teenager reported the user and each of the messages he sent. It took four days for action to be taken and that was only after Panorama contacted TikTok with the details of our investigation. TikTok says a report about a user's account or comments will not generally trigger a review of direct messages. It says on this occasion the report was against the account in general, not the specific direct messages, and because the account posted no videos, no action was taken. As a result of Panorama's investigation, it says two accounts and the devices used to set them up have been permanently banned. Lauren Lefebvre runs a child safety campaign. Her 14-year-old son Breck was groomed and murdered by a man he'd met while playing computer games online. I don't think parents are aware of the numbers of children that are groomed online, and I don't think that they believe it will ever happen to them. The thing with TikTok is it's fun. And I think whenever someone is having fun, they're not recognizing the dangers. And I think it's really important 
that we recognize that not everyone is there for the same reasons and they might be looking to groom a child, to exploit them, to get them to do something that could be harmful to them. Do you think TikTok's safe? Nowhere is safe for children online. Our goal is to make it safer, but nowhere is safe. And TikTok is too interactive, too much fun, too creative. And predators, unfortunately, know where to go. They know where the children are hanging out. They know that that's where they can interact with them. Legislation to make the internet safer was promised three years ago. Boris Johnson says he wants an independent regulator, but the plans have been delayed by coronavirus. We still don't know when the bill is going to be brought to Parliament. We were told it was going to be before the end of this year. Now it might be the beginning of next year. Where does TikTok sit on the danger scale when compared to other social networks, for example? It's numero uno in my book at the moment. Some of the stuff I've seen on there makes your hair go white. It's a completely inappropriate environment for children. The government says children will be at the heart of its new online harm laws, with platforms such as TikTok subject to a legal duty of care to protect young people from harm. It says it will publish legislation next year so that the era of self-regulation is over with tough sanctions for online companies. What would you say to parents whose children are on TikTok? If your child is under 13, do not give them a mobile device. If your child's over 13, be involved with them. Don't let them go twerking for strangers' entertainment. That's just going to end badly, and TikTok is not going to parent your kids for you, and they're not going to protect them the same way that you would. Details of organisations offering information and support are available at the BBC Action Line website.